brother, may he rest in peace, stolen ELQ stock and broken my father's heart more than once. Step away from my husband. Now, now, Tracy, in all fairness, Blaze and I had history before you and Before Blaise. she dumped you for Lorenzo Algazar because he had more money. But he's dead now. You've probably run through all of that money. And now you need Luke to help you find some illegal funds stashed offshore. Am I doing good? You have a very vivid imagination, wife. Don't wife me. You want Sky? Take her. Everybody else has. See you in divorce court. Oh, God, is this ever gonna be ugly? Sorry, Luke. I had to think of something. I need your undivided attention. Well, that's never been a problem. For I you. need to find that money. But you know, I'll understand if you're not up to it. Maybe you're. So married that you can't take advantage of the opportunity. Maybe you're not the man I thought you were after all. You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? Well, I just don't see why I have to share you with anyone. Especially your wife. Julie's one of the most positive people I've ever met. And do you want me to tell her I like her jewelry? Well, if we encourage her, it'll keep her going. Wait, Elizabeth, didn't you say she's stage four? I mean, at, at her age, the odds aren't no, good. Never mind the odds. Just where do you meet her? Has your oncologist gone over these test results with you? I'm dying. Who wants to hear about all the details of which drugs and how much time? It's just asking to be depressed. What do you think? <laughs> well, I've never seen anything quite like it. You hate it with all your heart. It's very, <laughs> very original. I think I'll wear it when I go dancing. Oh, doctor, you work too hard. When was the last time you went out on a date? I haven't lived in Port Charles very long. That's no excuse. Hi, Shirley. Your brother needs to get out of the hospital and have some fun. <clears throat> so I suggest you set him up with that perfectly lovely blonde floor nurse. And this one's not too bad either. <laughs> well, I'm gonna lay low for a while. If that gets acquitted, it can all be over. But if he's convicted, I'm gonna turn myself in and make a You can't! Piece. I can't lose you! Hey, don't worry. We'll figure something out. Cooped up in the house. And what about you? Well, that's kind of a really long story. Why don't I? Hey, why don't I take you home? Sure. We'll talk about it when we get there. That sounds good. Okay, we've got seven guilty, four undecided, and one not guilty. Well, this raid will be here till Christmas. What's wrong with you people? This guy's guilty. Guilty as sin, if you ask me. Well, I have my doubts. Really? Would you like to tell us about him? Oh, God. <sighs> Quiet, come Look, on. You're supposed oh. to be the foreman, not the judge. Well, you know what? The jury is just as important as any judge. The jury is the cornerstone of any democracy. It's our job. In fact, I am proud to do this job, where we are going to deliver a fair verdict, no matter how long oh, okay, it takes. Okay, 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 not another lecture, please. Lisa, would you like to begin? Thank you. So, the state did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Sonny Corinthos murdered his wife. And the only eyewitness swears that it was self-defense. Now, you all heard the testimony. And I'm certain that Carly Jax and her baby would both be dead if Sonny hadn't stopped Claudia. And I'm not going to send him to prison for it. Well, what about Michael Corinthos? He saw it. That was never introduced in court. She's right. Well, Sonny Corinthos doesn't want his kid to talk. That's why he's hiding him on some island. We saw the surveillance photo. I got that right here. Here's the picture. You think that prosecutor wouldn't change a timestamp? You saw what she did to poor Morgan. Can we be real just for one second? Sonny Corinthos is a professional criminal. 
This case will not go beyond a reasonable doubt. Then, as they say in Houston, we have a problem. So you're absolutely sure that Michael killed Claudia? He gave me a shirt with her blood and his DNA on it. I give it to forensics. They're holding on to it as John Doe evidence for now. Okay. But as soon as you notify the court, Sonny walks. There's no way that's a good idea. Oh, man. I mean, I, I helped clean up that cabin. If I'd known I was destroying evidence, uh, I could come on. Look at, look at all the crimes that Sonny's committed over the years. Is it really so bad for him to pay for one that he didn't do, especially if that's what he wants? She has a point. This is something that Dante said already. Look, let's think about Michael. I mean, wouldn't it be better for him if he dealt with suspended sentence, community service, as opposed to having an ongoing cover-up his whole life? There's a good chance Wouldn't it be better for Michael and the rest of Sonny's kids if Sonny went to prison? It's your call, man. Do you want to keep quiet and let your father go to prison when you know he's innocent of this particular crime? Or do you want to tell the truth and turn your brother in?